today's Christmas reflection is looking at the words peace on earth. If I say the words peace on earth, then you might automatically think of world peace, an end to all wars and conflicts in the world. So peace is not unreasonably often thought of as a contrast to war, conflict or violence. Peace could also be considered as the absence of war, along with all of the pain and the suffering that comes with war. Is that what the words peace on earth mean in the context of the birth of Jesus? If we imagine a person covered from head to foot in sores and they go to see um, a doctor to get medical help and they're prescribed an ointment, they go away, they put the ointment on the sores and indeed the sores seem to improve and the pain gets less. But the sores are only the symptom of the problem and the underlying cause remains undiagnosed and as a result untreated. Sooner or later the sores will return even worse than they were before. So it is with war. War is only a symptom of the lack of peace. Wars do not simply start themselves. They are caused by men who do not know peace in their own hearts. This is the reason that the wars that we have called the wars to end all wars do not in fact end all wars. So what causes men to start wars in the first place? The cause is man's brokenness, mankind's brokenness. A lack of peace in people's lives is reflected in many aspects of their lives and they are held captive by negative thoughts and harmful emotions such as hatred, unforgiveness, anger, revenge, bitterness and so on, with no effective means of escape and no means of finding inner peace. These negative emotions are damaging and cause people to, do, to search anywhere and everywhere for some sort of respite or at least some way of numbing the pain or distracting themselves. This search for inner peace may indeed lead them uh, to uh, start wars as a solution to their own inner turmoil. But as with the person with the sores, these attempted solutions may lessen or distract them from the symptoms for a short time, but they are bound to fail because they are not addressing the underlying brokenness. So, is there a cure, a release from the captivity of these harmful emotions that people experience? And if so, what is the cure? At Christmas, we look back to the birth of Jesus seven, uh, sorry, 2,000 years ago. But 700 years before Jesus came, the prophet Isaiah was looking forward to his birth. In the book of Isaiah, the coming of Jesus is foretold. And one of the descriptions and titles Isaiah uses for Jesus was Prince of Peace. So, let us return to the words peace on earth. Christian carols, uh, sorry, Christmas carols, describe many of the events surrounding the arrival of Jesus on earth as a baby 2,000 years ago. And the words peace on earth are, in fact, a declaration that Jesus the Prince of Peace, came to earth to bring peace. Baby Jesus, vulnerable and wholly reliant on others, grew to be a man who showed us how we should live when we choose to follow him. Baby Jesus, who will go on to be rejected by men and to surrender himself to die on the cross in our place. Jesus, Prince of Peace, was a gift from God. And that gift is available to everyone. You don't need to wait for Christmas Day to receive it, to receive Jesus. If we are prepared to say we are sorry for the wrong things that we have done and to accept the sacrifice that Jesus made for each one of us on the cross, then we will be allowing the Prince of Peace to come and live in us. The Bible tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When the Bible says whoever, there are no exceptions. 
If you accept Jesus, you are accepting a personal saviour who loves you so much he was prepared to die for you. God gave us this an indescribable gift and an, an incredible gift when he gave us Jesus. When we believe in Jesus, we are promised eternal life, but we are also believing in the Prince of Peace. This peace is not just for now, it's for eternity. Jesus taught the disciples to pray. When they asked him how they should pray, he said, Our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus was inviting his believers to pray to God, asking him for his kingdom to be present in them. And we do the same today in us, today on earth and into eternity. If I had to make one declaration about peace on earth, it would be this. Lasting peace does not come from the absence of war, but real peace is knowing the presence of Jesus in our lives here on earth right now. We need to lay all things at the foot of the cross, all things that are stopping us from knowing the inner peace that only Jesus can offer. When we choose to follow Jesus, our lives will continue to be difficult and have ups and downs, but we can place our faith in Jesus. He wants to bring us freedom from the things that imprison us and which deny us inner peace. It's not our faith in itself that brings us peace and life. It is who we place our faith in, Jesus, the Prince of Peace. In Philippians 4, we're told that this peace is a peace that passes understanding. It guards our hearts and our minds. This peace is not the end of all conflicts, but it is a transformation of the hearts and minds of those who choose to follow Jesus. We can search endlessly for inner peace, but in reality, it can only be found in the person of Jesus. Jesus said that he was the way, the truth and the life, and that no one could come to the Father except through him. When you have the peace of Jesus in your heart, it helps you to live in a fallen world that has lost its peace as it continues to reject Jesus. Followers of Jesus are ambassadors of peace to the people around them, and they will continue to bring peace on earth in their neighbourhoods. Let us pray together. This Christmas, I give thanks for the gifts that we will all receive. But more than anything else, I pray that men and women everywhere will remember and celebrate the incomparable gift that God gave us when he sent his son, Jesus, to earth as a baby 2,000 years ago. Oh, what a gift. What a wonderful gift. If you do not know Jesus, I pray that you would seek him while he may be found and accept him into your life, into your heart, as your Lord and Saviour. May you know peace on earth this Christmas in your life, both now and into eternity, through the person of Jesus, God's one and only Son. May God grant you peace on earth today and into eternity. Amen.